Michigan. This was the second game, of course, a matchup of former high school teammates Trey Burke and Jared Sullinger. Each team had won once in their two meetings this year, but Ohio State just came out on fire. Sullinger puts the Buckeyes up by seven, and Michigan just couldn't get anything going early on. They were one for their first ten. Jordan Morgan had all kinds of troubles inside, and then charge call there on Trey Burke. Evan Smotrich gets called for an offensive foul. Just a real rough beginning for the Wolverines, and frankly, they never recovered. Jared Sullinger was fantastic. Yeah, offense. right here you see a one-handed tip. Very few people can make that play because he was getting pushed and he was off balance. And right here he makes a great spin move and uh, so quick uh, to go with that size and strength. And here he just kind of gets pushed again and he's off balance and somehow he gets square and he can make that shot and very few people can do that. <laughs> very few people can stop it, that's for sure. Sullinger, <laughs> yeah. 24.6 boards. Deshaun Thomas down low, 40 to 24 points in the paint advantage for OSU and it was a tough day for Trey Burke, Jimmy. Yeah, every, every player goes through this day, but you know one thing about this young man, he'll learn from it, he'll get better and he be, will be prepared to play come NCAA tournament time. Yeah, Burke really could not get it going and they just had no answer for Ohio State. Thomas had 22. It was a 19 point lead. And Thomas again for the putback as Ohio State cruises into the final 77 to 55. Their fourth straight title game appearance. The first team ever to make four in a row. It'll also be the sixth time in the last seven years they have appeared in the final. They will try to become just the second three seed ever to win the Big Ten tourney. Purdue did it back in 2009. <laughs> lived up to the hype because Barley, it's got such great players and stars on each team. Draymond Green obviously looking to end his career with the Big Ten Tournament Championship, which would be his first. Jared Sellinger on the other end. Here's William Buford, and you know if he's going to have a good game, it's usually a good sign for Ohio State. When shots like that are from an inch away, it's easier to make them. He had 10 points in the first half. Spartans down one. Brandon Wood. Pass to Adrian Payne with a huge slam, and the Spartans lead by one. Big play here in the first half. Ohio State's up by one. What happens here? Well, right here, it's a pick and roll, high screen and roll with Jared Sellinger and Aaron Crabb, but Aaron Crabb has to be patient. He didn't allow Jared Sellinger to set. As a result, Jared picks up his second foul and has to leave the game. And he didn't play the rest of the half. How would MSU take advantage of it? Brandon Wood, well, that's how. Yeah, the offensive rebounds as well, Mike. Four three-pointers for Wood. So the Buckeyes are now down by three. Buford behind the back, corrals the ball and drills a tough shot, gets the foul two, makes the free throw. We're tied at 27. Under two minutes left, the Spartans lead by one. Walk me through what happens here. Well, again, off, the shot goes up, offensive rebound. Jared is not inside. Look, Draymond Green inside, one opportunity, two, three. Now he goes up. So losing Jared early creates an opportunity for Michigan State to score on the offensive end. So at halftime, Draymond and the Spartans are up by two. Second half, guess who's back? Sully's back, and he's got some range. Well, he can shoot that, and he shot, he shot it in high school. He doesn't do a lot of it, but he has the form of determination, and he took that shot with confidence. Saw him a highlight a couple segments ago. Oh, look at that for a highlight. That's Adrian Payne with the big slam again. We're tied at 44. Now, MSU's up by one. This is a bit of a weird sequence, so watch it closely. Sullinger backing in, backing in, throws up a little hook. That goes in. Keith Appling is quicker than a cartoon. Look at him go coast to coast and lay it in, and then we're going back the other way. Thomas is going to drill a three. Well, that time, Michigan State kind of just trotted back down the court, not believing that they missed the layup. They left the open Deshaun Thomas in the corner for Green, and as a result, Draymond tried to take a charge and hit his head on the floor. He got the wind knocked out of him, so the Spartans need to do a little comeback, and they do it with the man, Brandon Wood. A season-high performance for him, drilling shot after shot. Well, it was important that someone on Michigan State's team was able to hit jump shot that loosens up everything and not put a lot of pressure on the bigs inside. And it allows them, like Derek Nix just there, to score inside. He had 10 points. Sullinger, under four minutes to go. This game is starting to get really exciting. Back and forth it goes. The nice touch, Ohio State down just two. Under two minutes left, MSU up by two. Draymond throws up a three and drills it. 
12 points, not a great shooting performance, 4 of 15 from the floor, but that gives them the cushion they need to win it. The Spartans are champions.